Okay, you beautiful passengers, welcome back to the back of the semi truck. And normally, when I'm watching a show with everybody, I go ahead and come up with a name for each show that I'm watching, such as with DuckTales. I was calling everyone who was watching that with me Duck Burgers, and with the show Amphibia, I call everyone who's watching that with me Amphibians. And eventually, I will have another name for all of you other than passengers, but until the meantime, I am going to call y'all passengers because welcome to the back of the semi-truck and yes, for those who are new here, you are in the back of the semi-truck with me and sometimes noise creeps in, majority of the time nobody ever hears it so I usually waste my breath and say sorry about it for no reason because honestly, I just need something to fill in the time before we watch the episode that we're watching so that I can claim fair use and stuff like that. Let's be honest. Um, but speaking of fair use, yes, that was my way of transitioning into letting y'all know that these are edited reactions because the company that I believe that we are watching this from is DreamWorks. And they are very, very, very quick with the little block hammer. So, unfortunately, just like with Disney and a few other shows that we, you know, watch around here, I am going to edit the episode down with the dead space and all that stuff. I'm sorry, but it is what it is. I have to do that. If I don't have a reaction to something, then I'm probably not going to put it in there. If I don't have nothing to say about a particular scene, I'm probably not going to put it in there. And unfortunately, I will attempt to, don't get me wrong, I'll attempt to upload it first without putting the blur effect over there. But more than likely, with this being a DreamWorks property, I'm going to have to put a blur effect on top of the episode. So, yes, these shows that I react to are definitely targeted towards people who have watched the episode and just want to get the perspective of somebody who has already seen the show, not already seen the show, but somebody who's watching the show for the first time and they just want to see, you know, that person's perspective as they get to experience for the first time. So that's what we're about to do here. Kippa, Kippo, I think it's Kippo. I always screw that name up and Kippo and the Wonder Beast. All I know about this show is it's about a young girl who is in a post-apocalyptic world. So, I don't know what else to say about it other than that. And, yeah, I say let's go ahead and watch this. And, fair warning, I have no idea what I'm getting myself into. So, when it comes to first episodes, I don't know what the reaction is going to be like. So, earbuds are in though. So, let's do this in three two one and play a netflix original series and we got a little piggy looking thingy yep this is definitely dreamworks hopefully this is reactor friendly so i believe this is our title character kippo Oh, you don't go to the surface. Okay, so you were underground before. Wait, I can still see you. You can do this, Kipo. You Kipo. Humans live okay. on the surface for thousands of years. You can handle a few minutes up here. Oh, so I I'll go ahead and say this is already drawing me in quickly. And the age of Wonder Beast. Burrow Girl is the name of this episode. Hmm, okay. So, what's that kind of telling us? Ooh, those are some big paw prints. Beautiful animation going on here. Oh! That is so cool! Okay, so y'all know what guitars are in this world, so that's something interesting. Oh, 
Oh, uh, I was literally just about to say, you know, I wouldn't mind living in this world, but that is a giant bird. And a bird that size would probably need two sets of wings like it has. Wow. <laughs> okay, so I'm presuming this is going to be our little sidekick little pet type creature here, which is going to be pretty cool. I like cute animals. I don't care what they say, you're cute. Huh. So we're going through us a little clothing montage, which is fairly interesting. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Piggy. Oh, and then you had the bee sitting there with you with the music. Ah, I was wondering with the where that music was coming from. You ready? Let's do it. Well, that was momentary pleasure. Humans from the old world. Huh. This is a school. That's it. I'm going to call you Mandu. Mandu. Okay. Okay, we're getting a little too happy-go-lucky. That means something's about to happen. Nope, nope, nope. You're too cute. No, he's trying to stop you. Wow, that's a big bunny! I did not expect that. Holy crap! That is a lot of ears on that bunny. It reminds me of a stegosaurus, kind of. No! A shadowy figure came out of nowhere and took Mondu. You must not be from around here. Are you one of those underground mole people? You've heard of us. <laughs> wow. Well. For your last lunch. I don't need you anyway. I'll find my own way. And you are now trapped in a spider web with probably a giant spider. Oh, she's gonna get that hug eventually. Hey, I just realized I don't know your name. No, talk. Never actually seen it, but we used it as our city emblem. Ah, oh, that's why you were wearing that jumpsuit that you were wearing at the beginning of the episode. Why would humans stay underground when every night they could look up and see this? Yeah. Yeah. No, don't drink that. October 23rd, 2020. Yeah. Huh. It's expired. Yeah. By about 200 years. Ah. Found it. So it's 2220. Okay. No fat. I saw that same mega bunny earlier. I named her Rebecca. The little ones are so <laughs> Okay. I'm getting so many Star versus the Forces of Evil vibes from Kippo. But, I'm also getting other vibes as well. I'm not 100% sure which ones, but I'm getting a lot of vibes. And I really like her. She's very fun and energetic. This is my angry surface face. Ooh, what's that? <laughs> I love it. Ah. ah! So that's why you asked if it talks. So... That's how you defeat him? Get a stain on him? 
dogs before. That wear suits. Spot remover. Give it to me. Yeah. Huh. You let us go. <clears throat> Look, this is my private office. Bunny hunters, right? Look more like a burrow girl to me. It is a burrow girl. Huh. Hmm. Hey. Yeah, you came back. Something's wrong. Yeah. Shocker. A burrow. You can lead us to the mother load. I feel like I know this frog's voice. Just a pig. At least now we have a snack. No. <laughs> she did leave you alone. Oh my gosh. Granted, I still believe she's going to be back. Oh. Okay. Well, I was about to say, how the heck are you outrunning a car? But then I remembered, oh, wait, there's no engine and it's a dragonfly carrying it. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Is he dead? No. But when he wakes up. Ah. Oh. I was kind of hoping he was dead. <laughs> A baby? Is it a human baby? What kind of baby is this? <laughs> Not a human! Okay! So there was our first episode of the name that I am going to constantly mispronounce, Kippo, or Kippa, or whatever the pronunciation is. But there is our first episode, great episode, great introduction to the characters. We got two main characters of Wolf and Kippa. Kippa is a very eccentric young lady who is just full of life and is just amazed at what's on the surface and just living life to its fullest. And I believe what's going to happen is she's going to bring a soft spot to Wolf eventually. I don't 100% like the character of Wolf, but I believe that, uh, well, I believe first off, we're obviously going to get a name for this character eventually other than what Kippa named her but i do think that she's going to grow on me after a while i'm not 100 percent sure when and i'm not 100 percent sure how fast i'm going to be watching this series but i'm hoping i am really hoping to make this one a weekly show from here on out i don't know whether or not i'll be able to do that but here very soon i will be caught up 100 percent on Ruby, so I will be able to actually focus more attention on other shows. But nonetheless, back to this episode. This episode definitely gave a very good starting point. There in the middle, it kind of waned a little bit and it slowed down, but there at the beginning, it definitely did a good job immersing us into this world. It gave us a storyline to go with, like right there in the very first two minutes of the episode. We see this young girl. There's, you know, she's just strode out there and just put out into the surface world and they live underground. So now our storyline is my father is worried sick, so I've got to get back to the burrow. So that's a very good starting point. We know what's going on. It's not talking down to the kids that might be watching. So adults could actually watch this and enjoy it too. So that's good. Then we kind of see this world. We've got Wonder Beast, as it calls it, the Age of Wonder Beast, which means we got giant bunnies, we got giant dragonflies, fr murderous frogs that are in the mafia. Um, I did not expect that part. Um, we've just got us quite a bit of stuff going on here, and I saw the footprints of. I'm presuming that might actually be the footprints of the bunny that we saw there at the beginning so we got this big giant world but yet it's so beautiful at the same time um we also got us a little 
you know, the animal companion friend that is pretty much a staple of every show slash movie. Um, so yeah, um, very, very good introduction. Very surprising how much that I actually enjoyed that. I thought, I thought the first episode was going to be the hardest episode to react to because usually when I'm starting a brand new series, it's the first episode is always the most difficult. And the reason why it's always so difficult is because you don't know any characters, you don't know any story, you don't know anything about anything of anything of the show. But this one Im immerses you so well inside of the world of the Age of the Wonder Beast that it's like, this is not difficult to understand what's going on. This is good stuff that we're seeing. We, I, we got a couple characters that we like. And now we left on a cliffhanger, and I don't know when I'm going to get to the show again. Hopefully next week I will be getting to that. Um, I believe, you know what, I better not say that. I was about to say, you know what, I'm going to start making, you know, Wednesdays, Wonder Beast Wednesday or something like that. But you know what, I better not do that right now because I am technically didn't make the update video that I need to make. <laughs> <laughs> to explain that this show is coming to the channel. So, yeah, now it is my turn to sit back and figure out how exactly I've got to edit this episode and stuff like that because it's it, it, it's a DreamWorks property. So, yeah, I'm going to pass it off to y'all, though. You hit that like, tickle to subscribe, don't be texting and driving, and as Mr. Rogers always says... And I like you as you are. I do.